Magandang umaga, Pilipinas! First day here in Manila. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. Just getting ready. I woke up a little bit ago, maybe an hour and a half or two hours ago, uh, here at the Marco Polo Ortigas Hotel. Um, but as you can tell, I've already gotten ready, about to head out. Kind of a full day plan for the kind of mid part of the day, but really excited because in a bit, I'm meeting up with a friend for brunch. Maybe you know him, maybe you don't. Um, you definitely know him if you're part of like the Filipino pageantry scene. His name is Luis Portelis, and he has a YouTube vlog where he talks everything pageantry, and he has a really, really big influence here in the Philippines because all the queens, all the fans here in the Philippines love his thoughtful commentary and everything he has to say about all of the queens, their advocacies, and um, you know the international competitions that they will be going to um, during their year. So gonna be meeting up with him. Surprisingly, I believe like we became friends at the beginning-ish of the pandemic and I believe he started popping off during Rabia's year. If you guys remember Miss Universe Philippines 2020, he did like a few reaction videos on her and he became big and then he eventually located here in Manila. He's originally from Cuba, I believe, and then he moved over to Montreal and has been here for a little bit. So gonna be meeting up with him and um, later on, and I tried to like plan these accordingly, so I'm meeting him at brunch at a place called Wildflower in Podium Mall. And then Mamaya later, I'm going over to a place called Suited Up Manila to get a custom suit made. Gonna be going today for the measurements. And then later on, spoiler alert, in May, th um, I'm three months from now, I will be coming back to the Philippines to get fitted with the intention of that suit being worn at my brother's wedding. So, gonna be doing that. That's also in the area in Mega Mall, which is just across the street from Podium Mall. But if you're new to my channel, my name is Jerome, travel vlogger currently here in Manila, doing a travel vlog series called Rome Around the World, where you travel the world with me, Jerome. So please consider subscribing. Oh, I don't know how hot it's gonna be today. I'm already, I feel like I'm already sweating right now, but, um, it's about a 12 minute walk to Podium Mall, so let's go. Uh, <laughs> here with Luis, and uh, we had the most amazing oh God, catch up. Unexpected. unexpected thing just happened, and we just ran into Miss Universe 2022. Arbany Gabriel. Arbany Gabriel. In the Philippines. In the Philippines. How, how crazy is that? Okay, the story is we were <laughs> eating brunch, and then I'm like, um, that girl, she must be a model. And then you turned around, and I'm like, no, that's. You actually the one who called it out that oh this girl is that Arbany and I was like oh. I wasn't sure at first because like she was wearing sunglasses. I'm gonna post some photos. You have to give me your photos. Yes, so I can post I'll both of it. But oh my god, she was so sweet. Really, Super, no? yeah, yeah, yeah so really, really cool. Also, Luis has vlogs. I'll link him down below. He does a lot of uh, pageant commentary yes. and uh, is here in the Philippines <laughs> from Canada. But I need to find myself and go to Mega Mall. I have an appointment, so good to see you, Louise. Wow, ah. so happy to see you. So happy to see you. Bye. <laughs>
Okay, so just got out of Suited Up Manila. Um, Suited Up Manila is actually a custom uh, suit, barong suit, tuxedo company that a relative of mine owns. And uh, I wanted to get something to support and get a custom suit and maybe even a barong suit for, you know, when I need to go to special occasions, I can wear something that I can just kind of put on that is tailored. Uh, so when I went there, they were able to take my measurements of my entire body just to be able to buy, uh, get something that is like custom fit to me. They have several different fabrics that are, um, that range from like Xenia, there's one from London, there's a several different types of fabrics that range around like different types of style whether it's like summer collection or something that is a little bit for more um, bespoke or custom to you so I was able to do that the lady that was measuring me was like don't lose any weight <laughs> before uh, then but the plan is I'm actually going I'm still working out and stuff so like I may lose some weight but by April I'm gonna have my mom measure me at home and see and compare to see if I um, need to get it the measurements redone but I will be back here in May for a fitting and then I've it was cool because I was looking through a bunch of fabrics just to figure out I think I want something that is more like stone gray we were looking at a gray that had like a herringbone pattern to it we had look one that was like a thin pinstripe um, so lots to choose from but now that I have that out of the way and meeting up with Luis for brunch earlier today I have the rest of the day free might make today a kind of chill day might go around and go shopping um, I kind of want to go check out Cultura so we'll see over there also seeing Arbany was crazy earlier so that was a really big surprise didn't expect that she would be here in the Philippines I know that she comes here here and there but it was definitely a surprise Okay, so earlier went to Sunny's to get some an eyeglass. Eyeglasses here, so inexpensive. It's like I think it was like 1,200 pesos, which is a little bit over 25 dollars. And um, I was able to bring my prescription here, no problem. But I'm here at one of my favorite restaurants, Manna. And uh, the cool thing is that they have like different sizes of the portions that you can get. So you can do small, medium, or large. So I, it's just me, um, but I ended up getting a small uh, chicken inasal skewer. I had this last time, it was really good. And then I also got a small house crispy sisig, which is like my favorite thing here. I probably talked about it way too much. And then got a rice. And then a calamansi juice. I was just trying to decide between calamansi juice or mango shake, like a right mango shake, but I figured I'd get right mango sh shake later on. Gonna finish this up, and then I'm currently at Mega Mall right now. I might head over to. Oh, thank you. I might head over to Podium right after this. I wanted to go to a few stores there before heading back to the hotel. Salamat. Okay, so back here in Podium Mall, which is just across the street from Mega Mall, heading over to Cultura. Right over there, they have a lot of like Filipino artisan goods, uh, textiles, gifts, etc. So I thought I would go there because I'm kind of looking for a barong. So uh, let's go inside. You guys, this barong Tagalog, super, super detailed with the embroidery it's beautiful um 34 000 pesos which is about over 600 us dollars i mean damn
It sounds like I'm in the restroom and that's because I am in the restroom. I feel like at the evening time when, um, you know, the sunlight outside is already kind of pitch black and then it's just the living room, bedroom lights, it, they're a little too warm and a little harsh. So the bathroom is the best place. Also, maybe I should just... open this up a little bit so it's less echoey. But I thought, I've been kind of in my room trying to get uh, kind of chill for a little bit. I've been outside walking for a long time and I looked at how much steps I've taken today and it's about 14,000 steps. But I thought I would talk a little bit about the stuff that I bought in Mega Mall, Podium, um, because that stuff's fun, right? Uh, this is my Manam, uh takeaway, so that's for later. I just went to Cultura, I think that's the last place that I went to. Um, I was looking at that barong, and funny enough, the lady that was working there was telling me about the different types, like there is like the abaca, like the full abaca front, which is like a hand-woven, like really, really, really uh, detailed woven uh, front. And the one that I showed you guys, she told me to takes four months to do by hand. So I'm like, oh, that's why it's $600. But I didn't get a barong. I ended up getting this fan. I'll do it pulled this way. Because I'm going to be wearing this, wearing this, using this tomorrow for the wedding because it might be outdoors. And then I got two chocolate bars. One of them is milk chocolate turon. And the other one is a brown butter milk chocolate hazelnut. Both of them sounded good, so I went ahead and got it. Then I went to um, Watson's drugstore, and uh, I got this Physiogel Hypoallergenic um, Calming Relief Lotion, not for myself, but for my coworker, because she asked for it. And then they also had Round Labs, sunscreen at Watson's. I was so surprised because I actually got this last time via Irish when she went to Korea. So I went ahead and bought it. I kind of liked it. And then Around Labs face mask. Really good brand. Korean skincare. Always good. Also got Fisherman Friends Lemon Menthol Lozenges. Like, I don't know. I, I'm not getting sick, but I like having it there. Just on hand just in case I'm feeling a little sick. Um, at Suited Up Manila, I didn't talk about it, but they did get me some uh, still water from the brand Summit. I also went to Sunny's Studios. I love their glasses. I actually have one of their glasses here right now. They're really inexpensive, so I bought some glasses because I already had my prescription with me. And, and I got these ones. Uh, they are kind of like a little bit clear, a different shape than the one that I have, but this one has kind of like more of a taupey brown look to it, which I really like. Anyways, um, I am actually going to head out to a nearby cafe. Uh, I forgot the name of it. I actually saved it on my Google Maps because I saw it on a TikTok at, uh, at some point. It's called Cash Coffee and Cocktails. And it looks like a really cool kind of cafe where people can just come in, have a drink, have coffee, have some dinner, work. I'm planning on actually editing one of these vlogs because I, I feel like every time I do these, I wait till I get home to edit. And I feel like that just kind of wastes a little bit of time. And then all of a sudden, like all my Instagram posts are like much earlier than when I post the actual YouTube video. So gonna start with that now. Actually soon, I might head out in a bit. And you're coming with me.
Okay, just leaving the cafe. The vibes were really cool. It was really chill, laid back, was able to edit and complete one vlog. Um, the alio aolio that I ate was really nice, light, not too like heavy. I really, really loved the calamansi gin lime juice drink that I had. It was like so perfect. But anyways, I'm gonna head over back to the hotel. I'll see you there so I can end the day. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> In like the bedroom area, the lighting, it's just above, so it's, it casts this weird shadow and it's like really warm. So it's like, I don't know. I don't like the, the lighting here during the nighttime. But um, wearing the new glasses, maybe on this, you have to be like completely right behind right in front of the light source so it's like at least a little bit better but um yeah took a shower did my some of my skincare got a pimple patch right over here perfect just in time for the wedding tomorrow oh that's why i'm here in the philippines the main reason i am in manila is because my cousin deo and his longtime girlfriend um fiance now hannah are getting married um yeah, De Deo is one of the cousins that I always visit whenever I come to... I'm going to lay down like this. Whenever I come to Manila. And, uh, yeah, it, 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 that's why I'm here. That's why Irish is here. A few of my aunts and uncles from the U.S. are here for the wedding. So that's not until, like, the early evening tomorrow. Um, got our outfits. Going to talk a little bit about that tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, not sure what I'm going to do in the beginning of the day. I was kind of playing around with a few ideas, but we'll see where that takes us. But, um, yeah, today was really, really, really fun day. Still cannot believe that I met Arbany Gabriel. That was, like, a really cool moment. And I uh, had so much fun hanging out with Luis. It's, today was great. Got some shopping done, went to a cafe bar by myself, had a really good drink. All good. Um, but I'm ready to go to bed because I'm so tired. Uh, yeah, so don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!